Hello everybody, this is Goobberry and today we are going to have a look at our new series of Wasteland 3. So Wasteland 3 is essentially the successor to Wasteland 2 and it is also developed by In Exile Entertainment. The game is essentially an RPG turn-based combat game with co-op players play as well. So if you have a partner you would like to play with, this game would test your metal. Uh, the game is essentially set in a Wasteland scenario as the name implies and features team-based tactics as well so you can uh, play in a way that your entire team plays at once or you can have individual squad members play as well and it features a group called the rangers who fight for uh, justice and uh, to protect people in the world of uh, people with other different uh, tastes and objectives so having said that uh, i have not played the wasteland 3 uh, game at all i tried to keep the spoilers off so we can have a nice blind playthrough i did however do a small test before we started the game so having said that let's just get in get on with the game and see how things play out i will give some hit hints here and there so we have the what is this? rookie difficulty the wastelander difficulty Ranger difficulty and the Supreme Jerk difficulty. So, the Supreme Jerk difficulty was told as uh, not even being remotely fair by the developers themselves. Oh, okay. It also mentions it in the description. So, I'm not going to go for that. Uh, I was thinking of doing a Wastelander. So, you can just uh, brush through the story. But, you know what? Let's go for the Ranger difficulty. I was go Even if I had chosen the Wastelander difficulty, I would have set Friendly Fire on. And, uh, perhaps... I mean, the, when I tried with uh, to, uh, Wastelander difficulty, the game seemed pretty straightforward and simple. So maybe I'll try with uh, Ranger difficulty and see how things go. So let's do Ranger. Every monster was a man first. Huh. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead.
But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. Alright, I'm going to create my own custom characters and then we'll get on with it. So, it'll just be a few seconds for you guys. So we have two characters made out. One is Snippy, another one is Snappy. Because uh, for both of them, I was unable to find a proper... Uh... Okay, so for Snappy, it's fine. But in case of Snippy, I'm not able to find the proper uh, attire to match. Because she has the mask, but which has these glasses, the eye protection gear, and uh, which is not there in the picture, the profile pic, as well as the hoodie cap. I'm not able to get the uh, similar sort of cape. Uh, so yeah, other than that, if you look at, uh, Snippy is essentially our sniper, while Snappy is going to be our, uh, well, she's a trigger happy person, so she's going to be quite snappy shooting down everyone with her pistols she's eventually going to become a pistol and energy weapon user so that's the idea because uh pistols the one thing about pistols is uh it does not it you can shoot multiple times but it doesn't have a extreme damage potential not to mention its armor penetration uh, possibilities are also very low so if you come across robots etc your snappy will become uh, essentially useless so in order to make her more useful, we'll give her energy weapons, which have uh, higher penetration against armor and lower uh, against. So she will use pistols against monsters, etc. with no armor and uh, energy weapons against those that do. So let's start with snap uh, Snippy. Snippy is a sniper, as I said earlier. She is a goat killer, which uh, gives her plus 5% uh, crit chance. Then uh, her... Starting weapon, weapon is a sniper rifle. Her attributes are as, as follows. I gave her two, four coordination, so she'll have uh, two max action points and two extra action points every turn and some status effect uh, resistance. Uh, the status effect resistance is not the biggest deal because she, I'm going to try to put her at the back. Unfortunately, in the wasteland, if I am I mean, taking my experience from wasteland 2, which I've played a lot, the enemy tends to come after your uh, sniper a lot. So if that's the case in Wasteland 3 as well, then she's going to be hit pretty hard. Uh, which I will, I mean, because of which we will come to some of the points that uh, I have made in the later uh, attributes and etc. skills. I'll show you why I mentioned this. Anyway, let's go back to awareness. So in awareness, uh, it's the most important skill for... Uh, one of the most important skills for the sniper because you need to have hit chance high hit chance so the game essentially uh, it calculates hit chance uh, versus evasion dodge chance of the enemy so your hit chance can essentially go above 100 percentage but it doesn't i mean so if you're uh, if you have 150 percentage the enemy has a dodge rating of 60 percentage then uh, 150 minus 60 you have a 90 percent hit chance and of course it's a it's a much more tolerable than the XCOM series where a 95% hit chance you will still miss. The next thing is uh, strength. I give, uh, I mean, we're not given much of strength attributes. But uh, in the future, we will have to increase it because I think minimum we will need at least 4 strength. Since a sniper rifle is a, it's a heavy gun to carry. And because of that, there will be eventually, I'm, I'm guessing there will be a strength requirement uh, to the sniper rifle uh, that we get in the future. And for that, we'll need to have some bit, a bit of strength attribute. Uh, the, the way the attributes work is that uh, every couple of levels. So, like, I think every two levels, we'll get some skill points. Every every level, we'll get some skill points. Whereas attributes, we'll get every, I think, maybe anywhere between two to four levels, I guess. Uh, you'll get one attribute point. So, you should be careful. You should spend it carefully. Speed, I have not given too much. I mean, we do need some evasion. And uh, the thing is... Speed also gives you initiative. I hope the initiative would be then coordination, but in, it's in speed. 
So it's a one. I mean, the thing is, if higher initiative means a sniper, a sniper uh, gets to uh, you know react first, first, and uh, that way they can take out the enemies quickly. If you don't have high speed, a higher speed, then uh, you're going to act uh, towards the ending, which is horrible. The next thing is intelligence. So you have a uh, intelligence is uh, also another important stat because it gives you critical chance. And for a sniper rifle, if you are able to, uh, I mean, while it's not the most highest critical chance based uh, weapon, uh, providing weapon, it's still you know as as long as you can have a good critical chance and a critical damage multiplier, you can maybe one shot uh, an enemy, which is what we want to do in a sniper rifle. Be a heavy hitter. And uh, yeah, uh, charisma, yeah, I've not given much charisma. Is charisma is one of the stats that I don't usually go for. So yeah, I have left that out. But you know, the one good thing about charisma is, uh, oh, charisma also gives mission reward bonus. Oh, so sweet. But you know, five percentage extra. I'm not sure how much of a deal it would be. The main thing of uh, charisma is the leadership range, which is important. As you will come to see in the uh, gameplay. So that is it for uh, the Snippy's, uh, Snippy's attributes. And uh, going to skills. I have given 3 points in the sniper rifle. Given 1 point in sneaky shit. Because uh, sneaky sneak attack damage uh, multiplier is not just uh, hiding and uh, attack backstabbing etc. Uh, any attack that is done before the battle begins. Or that initiates the battle is considered a sneak attack so if you are able to attack an enemy and kill them even before the battle starts then that will be good so it would be good in the future to increase uh, sneaky shit a lot more oh some alarms difficulty one or level oh landmines yeah we need explosives okay fine then we have uh, lock picking yeah i have given lock picking to the sniper mechanics because uh, i'm not going to uh, increase the mechanics too much or maybe i don't know how things will go but essentially the mechanics the reason i've given this is the sniper rifle has the highest uh, penetration power among all the weapons other than the energy weapons so that's it it can it is our main damage dealer against uh, machines in which case it's like, uh, having a mechanics uh, skill set will increase give a bonus to da damage versus robots vehicles and synths so yeah i've given mechanics to them uh survival i've given one point i am doubtful i'm wondering whether you know i should actually have this on you know what maybe not i don't i can make better use of it elsewhere so and then we have given her kisses kisses just a uh, one of the social skills to uh, give give to her so yeah that's it for snippy okay, let me add uh, one point elsewhere the lock picking so uh, she has the highest she will be probably having the highest uh, perception so allows you to deal more damage explosives diffuse bombs and avoid losing your digits when they go off she will probably be in front of the team most of the time which is usually not the way it should be kept but still you know what fine um, let's increase the sneaky shit so she can have a you know initiative attacks will be much powerful sneak attack damage is plus 20 percentage and you can dis uh, disarm alarms oh this increases initiative as well oh sweet and it gives perception oh I never saw that well that's weird it gives attribute based uh, bonuses as well oh I never had a look at any of that oh boy okay definitely need sneaky shit for uh, you need to really max out sneaky shit as much as possible for her because having a higher perception and initiative gives us essentially what we need which is uh I mean, there's nothing over here that uh, everything over here is, uh, gives a benefit uh, primarily to snipers. Oh my god, awesome! Anyway, yeah, that's that's the skill uh, location for Snippy, and her quirk, 
We have check, taken a serial killer. She will gain 3 AP for each kill in combat. So some suggestions uh, in the online, you know, guide, etc. Uh, were I, when I just looked at uh, level cap, because one of the things that you need to look at is level cap. The reason I want I did that was because of... Uh, what is this? Where is it? Yeah, this point dexter. The point dexter, it lowers your constitution by 8. And your constitution per level by minus 3. So right now my constitution per level increases by plus 3. So if this completely negates it, then uh, my character will never improve their HP. Which is sometimes, it's okay. Because, you know, uh, they are supposed to stay at the back and fire to the enemy. But, you know, you should not give them too, uh, too easy a time uh, to, you know, bring a sniper down. If they do target her. So I had to pay the, uh, you know, the... Uh, negative with the positive and that's plus one bonus skill points every two level ups so i did have a look at that because we are playing at a diff range of difficulty and uh, unfortunately it seems we only have 35 levels so if it's every two level ups and it means we're going to get a maximum of uh, maybe of uh, 14 extra skill points doesn't really seem too useful I mean, 14 extra skill points. For that, I'm going to lose uh, constitution every single level. I mean, 3 constitution every single level means uh, around 90, 115. So, total of 115 HP I'm going to lose. Possible HP that could save our life. So, uh, you know, I didn't want to do that. And there was no, the others were not too good. So, this one. Cannot wear armor of any kind. Death wish. This is actually a good uh, work to choose for a sniper. I mean, possibility, but cannot wear armor of any kind. Now, that is a bit concerning to me. Uh, because the thing is, you know, without armor, right? I mean, we probably get one shot as well. Anything could one shot us in the later in the end game. We need to have some sort of armor. You know, that will definitely save our person. So I don't think 3, if the action point max and the, uh, the given action points were like maybe 5 plus 5, then this would be a really good option to uh, take because it weighs out the, the negatives. But you know, in this case, I don't really want to take that. And we don't need combat speed, etc. Even though, uh, I mean, this is this gives us the least amount of uh, negatives for sniper. And we uh, armor, yeah, this bob bag, this is something I could take, but you know... I don't really see a benefit to, you know, higher armor and lower uh, combat speed when we need to focus on becoming stronger uh, at a fi as a fighter. So, what the serial killer does is, if you remember, I have I have four points in uh, coordination, which gives me plus two action points. So uh, every now it will become plus one action point because uh, one action point is negative uh, is removed, and uh, we get three AP every turn that we kill somebody. So as a sniper, we are going to be doing the most of the killing. So, 3 AP means I can either preserve some of the AP for the next uh, turn. Uh, so, AP is action points, if you're not known. And every turn, you have a certain number of action points. Prob based on the coordination that this person has, they will, I think, get 8 action points to use every turn. And, uh, yeah, supposed to get 9. But since because of the action points minus 1, we'll get 8. And we'll get 3 AP every turn that we kill one person. Uh, so... That will give them some, um, you know, needed AP. I mean, it definitely won't give them enough AP to fire another round. But at least a sniper can uh, run away or preserve their AP if needed for the next round. So I chose Serial Killer. It seems to be the best option I could come up with without taking on too much risks. In terms of Snappy, I gave given her Mopi Poet. What does Mopi Poet do? It gives her evasion, so she's going to be right in the middle of every fight. So having a high evasion is very useful for her. If she's a pistolier, her attributes are focused on speed and intelligence. Because uh, it's a brawler class and the pistol classes have the highest uh, critical chance uh, based uh, you know, weapon sure, combat styles. So... I mean, when you increase your skill set, their critical chance increases much more than other weapons. So, focusing on critical chance is very good because that's how you can actually do 
any sort of uh, decent damage with a pistol and make it uh, powerful enough to be actually viable uh, in comparison with uh, other weapons. So critical chance, uh, I've increased it to about 5 levels. Right now I have a plus 10 critical chance increase. Uh, and damage multiplier is there as well. She's also going to be a healer. So critical heal chance plus 10 percentage and heal bonus uh, another 50 percent increase is good. And she'll gain 5 skill points. So you know, we can have a lot of skills upgraded in this person. She will be our main medic, combat medic. And based, uh, she will have a lot of initiative and evasion. And she'll have to move around a lot. So I've given her some speed. And I've given her 2 points of charisma. It's not great, but still. Because I'm going to make her the leader of this group. Uh, she will be usually in the middle of the group running around a lot. So she will almost always be giving some of the other person uh, many more people uh, leadership bonuses. We need somebody who doesn't go or uh, who doesn't stay at the front lines or stay extremely behind the group like a sniper or a melee person. Uh, we need somebody who stands in the middle of the group uh, most of the time for a leader. Awareness is it increases uh, while it is good. It's not the most uh, sought after uh, skill set for a pistol person. I mean, of course, gives range damage and hit chance, but you know, that's future. You can look at it in the future as well. And I have given her uh, two points in luck so she can have plus one armor penetration. So essentially, the game, uh, every character has an uh, armor value. And uh, pistols are not really uh, armor penetrating. Uh, weapons so you know giving them plus one penetration gives them a little bit more chance to kill somebody uh, because it's the, the way that the combat values are calculated is if person has 10 armor and your weapon does 5 armor penetration then you will be essentially doing 50% damage and uh, even if the person has 10 armor and you have 9 armor penetration you won't be doing 90% damage the max you, uh, if you're Below the armor penetration value, the max amount of damage that you can do is 80 percent. So, I mean, it's a, it's almost a foregone conclusion that the pistol is not going to be able to uh, do much uh, armor penetrating uh, damage when it comes to robots, etc. So, you know, but anyway, it gives lucky action chance as well and gives us a little bit more chance. I'm not probably not going to increase uh, luck too much unless I get the opportunity to do so after the main skills. I'm going to focus a lot more into intelligence etc which increases my critical chance and coordination I need coordination for the action points because more action points means I can shoot more number of times but damn it it's another skill point I mean when you come when you come to this uh, gunslinger there are a lot of attributes that you can focus on um, lots of ways to build them up but this is my uh, build as for skills I've given three points in small arms. Small arms is also shotguns, include shotguns. So revolver. I'm so right now I have a semi-auto pistol. I will probably start using a revolver because the revolver has higher damage. And um, yeah, this says pump shotgun, auto shotgun, etc. The next thing is energy weapons. So right now I've not started using energy weapons, but uh, I think weird science is required for using energy weapons and uh, I will be upgrading that in the future so even here as you can see I have been given a we need a high initiative for uh, the gunslinger initiative is very important so sneaky shit we will be upgrading sneaky shit for her as well and she is a combat medic so she will be having first aid and nerd stuff because she will be running around the most she has a lot of movement points I will be using her the most to hack computers and robots and you know because her damage is more uh, towards fleshy beings uh, i mean low armor penetration so you know animals and mutants if, if that's the only uh creature the animal living things or enemies that she can damage a lot then why not just uh, give her a boost in that this is why one point in the future i will be increasing this more and she is a leader and just one so everyone has a one person hit chance Hopefully, you know, ally bonus on revive. Maybe I can increase the skill the leadership a bit more in the future. For now, this is the case. And her quirk. Her quirk I've given way of the squeezins. So range damage bonus is minus 20 percentage. 
So here's the way I'm looking at this. The pistols don't do much damage. So let's say a pistol does around 20 damage. If you have a 20 percentage reduction, then it's going to be doing around 16, 16 damage, which is fine for me. Because it's not a really a damage dealing weapon. So a minus 20 percentage is okay. If you, but if you drink, if you're drunk, then when you are, if a 20 damage pistol will start doing 30 damage. So in that sense, you know, the amount of reduction is very low. The amount of increase, if you're, when you're drunk is high, so you're during critical moments, you can uh, get drunk and use it. So I can get, uh, so I've got way of the squeezins. There are other things that you can use as well. Plus the thing is, whether or not we are going to use energy weapons or, you know, make her a grenade uh, person, I don't know, we'll see in the future. That's a future thing. So yeah, having said that, uh, that's... Oh. Yeah, right in the middle of midst of battle, I guess. November. Right brain on this heap is shot. But buy me a minute and I think I can get the weapons online. Give me a second. Why is the audio so loud? What is this? Taking some of these freaks with me! Oh, one person dead. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So right now, oh yeah, another thing that I want to change is... So we have two ways of playing this game. One is we can use team tactics. So our team, our entire team plays uh, its round. And then the enemy, all of them together, play they play their rounds. Uh, we can do that. I'm not sure. Let's try it a bit and then see whether, you know, it's actually it feels cheatsy or what. What? Because I get the feeling like, you know, maybe it's a bit cheatsy. Considering, you know, my sniper has low initiative. Is she supposed to play much lower down in the combat, uh, uh, in the combat, in the fights. But she's right now, she's playing right at the beginning. Which, you know, completely negates her uh, initiative, uh, at, I mean, attribute. But, you know, whatever. Let's, uh, in the next fight, we will uh, switch over to using... Wait, what the hell happened? Yeah, okay, okay, fine. Okay. Let me just, uh, you prepare, save up to uh, AP for the next round. Not gonna be much help, but you know what? Whatever. Wow. You can... Wait, am I at full cover right now? So 13 to 16 damage, huh? That's what I told you. Hack robot. Oh. Thing is, I'm just I'm just barely out of range. Okay, let's run here and give him a shot damage not enough let's prepare oh there comes a robot oh boy oh no oh, I'm just I'm out in the open oh, I think it's scripted to not attack us as much Well, they will attack us. There's the problem. Hang in there, November. Almost got it. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Okay. Let's try one person. The running is over there. Oh, this is full uh, protection, huh? That's nice. Oh, wait. Can I heal usable in combat? Used to target self. Ah, okay. I can't help anybody else with this. Can I? Whoa! I have 6 AP? Oh, that's sweet. I can attack another person. That's cool. 
58, 58, 58. 58 I can kill. No, you know what? I have friendly fire on. I don't want to kill that person. Ah, missed. Damn it. 65 percentage, 66 percentage. And, uh. Damn it. I can't run there. <laughs> oh shit. Oh boy, now we are uh, the primary top. Oh okay. Let's see one more person to die here. Okay, he's dead. Now it's our turn to get shot. November, you have oh. targeting control. Uh, if as you see now there we got a lucky uh, uh, evasion. Ah, okay, cool, awesome can finally use our vehicle oh this is sweet everything here dies Let's do this. and that is the end of the battle over here you two <laughs> that was awesome if you want to live through this we got to take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam We'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got it? Oh. I take the front, you take the back. Understood, Major. Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here, there's no going back. All right, move out. Who are? He's gonna die. That's one thing I. Look at them doodle bugs run! Come on, right, let's stop. Don't let them scatter. Keep them together while I reload the rocket gun. Ooh, man, I love this thing. He's enjoying himself too much. Oh, what is this burned book? Unreadable. Ah. Let's have a look at these people. Oh. No info, no, no tips, no info. Oh, nobody. Right. Oh, let me just save the game, keep saving it. If one thing, if I've learned one thing in this game, oh, look at this tire tracks. This red marks lead away from the ambush. If a ranger vehicle escaped, the broken ice has hidden their trail. Ah, ah. Jesus, it's so gory. There are powder burns on this ranger's jacket. They were shot at point blank range. Okay, this guy needs some serious help. Uh, as you can see over here, this uh, radi this is the radius of their detection. So if you look over here, if I I can use Snippy to uh, crouch and then uh, kill this person even before they have a chance to so we saw that it uh, did 49 damage but uh, that 49 damage if you uh, it's not even though so if you see over here she does a total of 35 to 49 damage okay and we did exactly 49 damage it doesn't mean that we did the max damage that this uh, weapon did it also uh, means that uh, oh shit three flame of fuel that's awesome it also includes a sneaky shit get off the ice oh my god ah you turn to mash paste this ranger was beaten to death so some of the sneaky shit uh percentage uh, i think plus 20 percentage added to the damage where so our overall damage that we did was less than 49 but as you can see since we did sneaky shit we attacked before combat began we did a lot of damage which is a good thing for sniper can i do there's something here 
Truck is empty. Looks like the occupants managed to escape, but you can't tell where they went. Well, he, they're here. Right here. Alright. Someone sliced open this ranger's abdomen and removed his intestines. Judging by the expression that is frozen on his dead face, he was alive when it happened. Oh my god. Oh no. It's so disgusting imagining it. So painful. CEO, how should I know? Maybe you blew her up already. Liar! I want her head! It's gonna be me who bring it to Jarrett! Where is she? I don't know. I don't know! You're hiding her from me! You're denying me my glory! Get that fucking gun off of me! I don't know! Oh, stupid cow! You're wasting my time! Oh shit. Ah, okay, I can't kill her. Why can't I just kill her? We know what she's gonna do. Oh man. Oh boy. Fuck! Your friends are here. Yeah, run directly in front okay, of her Hot face. Landers. Drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? Uh, uh oh. Who are you people and why are you attacking us? Hmm, let's try uh I'm not going to try a female voice. It's going to be awful. I'm not pretty good at that. Except if it's a little funny. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. We can either choose that. Who are you people? We don't have hard ass one. So we can't uh, take this option. We do have kisses. Wait. Nobody has to die. Just leave and we won't shoot. Or attack and kill her. Hmm. I could attack and kill her, but I don't know if she'll kill the Jody. Let's try it. Bastard, I told you I'd kill her. Oh damn it! No. Okay, okay, I am reloading because the choice I took when I test trailed was the kisses that saved her, and I really want to save her. You will come to know why. Your friends are here. Okay, Hotlanders. Drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? Who are you people? Why are you attacking us? He says, wait, nobody has to die. Just leave and we won't shoot. All oh. right, fine. I'm going. I'm telling my cousins you're here. So since we used Kisses, we got some Thanks. EXP. Saved my life. You probably should have killed that gal, though. Gonna warn her friends. We were trying to keep you alive. Shit, didn't think of that. You know what? We were trying to keep you alive. And I appreciate it. Just watch yourself. They're right outside. We are outside. No, oh, man. First aid, let's take a look at your wounds. Any other survivors from your squad, let's get you moving. We'll come back for you. Let's take a Thanks. look. You ah, guys are a more EXP. life savers. Hey. Happy got some EXP. Any other survivors from your squad? Not likely. Most of them burned with our transport. A couple more went under the ice and... Did some ice fishing? Wait, Major Tom, he might have made it. Saw him take off like a bat out of hell after we wrecked. Don't know if he'll come with you if you find him. He gets pretty spooked, but take these. Might get his attention. Mighty brave soldier to run away at the first sight of battle. Ah. But you get who's Major Tom? Prasad is our major. <laughs> Major's just his nickname. You can just call him Tom when you find him. Let's get you moving. Gotta catch my wind first. Let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. Are you going to guard my rear? You can't even protect yourself. And I don't need somebody looking at Be my rare. 
Careful. I usually, when I play this game, uh, I choose a female squad. Because, you know, if you're going to play with a, with a squad, if you're going to constantly look at them throughout the game, I mean, would it be better to look at a couple of men? Okay, so looks like the Darcy's haven't been camped here for long. They must have known you were coming. <gasps> no. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, I'm sure there's still a lot more to go. I'm going to try to maintain 35 minutes to 45 minutes recordings. Of course, I'm always going to go beyond that some other time. But for this time, that's going to be it. If you guys like this video, press the like button as always. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. And I will catch you guys next time. Till then, bye-bye.